Hi everybody, it's Flaming Candle here, and today I wanted to make a video talking about BronyCon. I'm even wearing my badge today. I have a whole bunch of badges hanging above me right here. And this is one of my plushes I got from BronyCon. Now sadly, it was the last one that I went to uh, this year, so there ain't going to be any more BronyCons. Which is sad, but nothing we can do about it. But there's actually a convention that I'm going to called BAMSCON, and I'm excited about going. But anyways, I wanted to tell you a story of how crazy um, this year's BronyCon was. Now, I had fun and everything, and it was a great time. But, I mean, there was so much craziness going on there. It, it's just nuts. The first time I went to BronyCon was in 2017. And my, me and my parents drove there. And it was not fun driving there, especially where I live, which I cannot, you know, tell. But it was like an eight-hour drive, and I was so exhausted. We only got like one hour of sleep. It was just crazy, and I even, I had fun when I first went to BronyCon the first time, but me and my mom had no idea what we were doing, so we didn't really get to talk to people or anything, but we did get to go to some panels and, you know, buy some stuff. But anyways, I wanted to talk about the second year because it's the most crazy year because it was the last BronyCon, and it's like when everybody heard it was the last BronyCon. Everybody in the in the whole world went there. But I could understand since it's the last one, you know. You have to go to it. If you're a big fan of My Little Pony and you have enough money, then yeah, I would try to go to, go to it. But anyways, um, I wanted to tell the, the story how crazy it is there. So let me stop babbling about everything and start telling you the story. So we took a plane to get there, and it was my first time going on a plane, and I was nervous, as nervous as I'll get out, so, because I've never been on a plane before, but once we were in the air, I was fine, and so then we got to our hotel and relaxed and stuff, me and my mom, and here comes the fun part. So we, go, we went to the convention the next day. And boy, was it crowded. Like, there was people all over the place. It was just crazy. Like, there was lines to everywhere. Like, you couldn't barely even walk because it was so crowded with people. It was crazy. And what else was crazy is that almost, if we wanted to go to a panel that we really wanted to go to, you had to get to it. You had to be, like, there an hour early or else you would just get capped off. Because it was just that crazy. Because there would be lines that go like all the way at the end of the hallway. It was just nuts. And what, el and what else happened is some people that were there at the convention would even shove you. Like I got shoved a couple of times at the convention. It's crazy. But this year was the best. Even though it was the craziest, it was the best year because I got to meet a lot more people and talk to a lot more people and everything. And I'm also an artist, so I can, I also like to draw MLP stuff. I even got some MLP art on my wall. Sorry, I keep fiddling with this thing. This thing don't want to stay on, but... Anyways, that's not all. You try to go into the vendor hall, like, where you shop for all your plushies and stuff. The line was like to the doors of the convention. It was so long. Like, if you just sat there, it would probably take you several hours just to get into the vendor hall to shop. I was only able to get in because I had an art piece to turn in, and so they put me up front of the line because I had an art piece to put in, which didn't get sold, but, you know, whatever. At least I got to keep my art. But that's the only way we got in the vendor hall, and, of course, we shopped for a bunch of stuff. And we tried to go to, I can't remember which panel it was, but we tried to go to this one panel. 
And as soon as we got there, the line was like a mile long, and it was capped off. They wouldn't allow any more people in. But not only that, um, the last day we tried to get an autograph from the the voice of Pinkie Pie. I can't remember her name right now for some reason. So don't get mad at me if I can't remember her name. But anyways, we tried. We were gonna get an autograph. The person is Pinkie Pie in Fluttershy's voice. So we went there. Okay. And there was a long line. And we went an hour early too, but apparently everybody else did as well. But luckily we didn't get capped off. But at first, we thought that we weren't going to be able to get an autograph because it's like the staff didn't even know what they were doing or anything. I'm not trying to be rude, but I mean, they were just making people go all over the place. And one lady said we can go in and, and wait in the line where all those other people are waiting in line to get an autograph. And we went in there to sit down. And then somebody, and then a guy went in there saying that we need to get back out there and wait. And I was like, a lady just said we can go in here and sit down and wait in line. Now, why are you making us go back out? I was starting to get mad because... You know, I didn't think me and my mom were going to get that autograph because it didn't seem like we were. And then people were like saying, <clears> Hold <throat> oh, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> and then people were saying that, uh, if you, if you go in, if you go in, to, if you go in there w with, without us giving you permission to, you're going to be, you're going to be out of the line. I mean, you're, you're going to be capped off and you're not going to be able to get your autograph or something like that. And we're just all looking at each other like, what in the world? Are we going to get our autographs or what? Or are they going to kick us out? So everybody's sitting around, don't know what the heck we're doing. And the staff doesn't know what they're doing. And it's like we're just all over the place. And then finally... Somebody went in there and reassured us all that we're gonna get our you're gonna get your autographs. Don't worry. You're gonna get your autographs. Just stay in this line right here. And then finally we got our autographs and it was just sitting there not knowing if you were gonna get your autograph or not was crazy. Cause me and my mom been sitting there for two hours now. Two hours waiting in this line and nobody knows what the heck they're doing. Uh now I don't think the staff the, the people there knew that the BronyCon was going to be this crowded full of people th uh, this year. So I can understand a little bit, but you need to be a little bit more prepared for stuff like this. Because it's just crazy that we've been sitting there for two hours and everybody was sitting there for two hours not knowing if they were going to get their autograph or not. And so after that, we went to an Applejack panel, and it was, I, I loved it because Applejack is my favorite, favorite pony. And so, let's see what else. Oh, and this happened when we were at the vendor hall. We were sitting there taking a break because, you know, we were tired and exhausted from walking around all over the place, and we had to sit down and take a break, and I was talking to some people at the tables, and... It was fun. I had a good time. And we were fixing to go into the vendor hall again. And then there was this lady sitting right here. Okay? This lady was sitting right here. And she was screaming at the top of her lungs. Like, she was screaming at the top of her lungs. Um, go to the right line or go to the left line or I can't remember what she said she's like stay on your right I mean she was screaming like crazy and everybody was just looking at her like what is wrong with this lady and she was a, a staff there and she looked really agitated she was just screaming at people and had the meanest looking face I mean I was afraid to even go in vendor hall again because I was afraid she was going to yell at me and I don't like being yelled at, so. Sorry about that. My nose kind of itches. But anyways. You know, she was screaming at the top of her lungs. And then you had this nice gentleman over here that was being nice about it. Saying, please keep to the left lane. Because there were so many people. They had to all walk in one lane because it was just such a long line. And you had to sit there and 
and wait just to get in the vendor hall because it was so packed full of people. We were, me and her were just lucky to even get in there to even get stuff. But we did have some fun. We got some other autographs too that were free autographs. I got an, we got an autograph from Saver Spark and I can't, what's that other guy's name? Griffin, Black Griffin or something like that. Yeah, I'm sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. But anyways, it was just a nightmare at BronyCon. I had a good time. I got to meet a lot of good people and artists and everything. And that was fun. But just getting around and trying to go into the uh, events, it's hard. Because if you didn't get there like right away, you would be just capped off. And I'm not even kidding, like, they were capping off so many events. There were so many events and panels we couldn't get to go to because if we didn't get there on time, they would cap you off and you wouldn't be able to go. But I still had fun, and we got to go as min to as many uh, panels as we could go to. And I had a good time. I went to a shipping panel, and I had fun there. And let's see, where else did I go? Oh yeah, we got to take pictures and stuff like that. And it was it was fun, but uh, there was just it was just crazy there as well cuz there was just so many lines and people there. It was hard to get around. Let's see. I'm trying to think of something. Let's see if there's anything else that happened there. I think that might be it. But I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, I don't know why I can't think straight right now. But anyways, here's some of the... I got some badges. I got a Cozy Glow badge there. Don't know if you can see it. And I also got this Midnight Mares uh, plush from there. I got a lot of other things too. Like a whole bunch of... A whole bunch of plushes and stuff like that. But, anyways, I did have a good time there, and I did get to talk to a lot of people. And you know what was the fun part about waiting in line? Is that people would just be sitting there singing songs, like Disney songs and pony songs. It, we just had a good time just sitting in a line. I mean, for, we, we were going to the gala, and everybody was just sitting there singing and clapping, and it was just, it was just funny and fun. I had a really good time. The second BronyCon was the best. The first one I went to, I didn't know what I was doing, and I didn't get to talk to very many people. So I, did, I probably didn't have as much fun as I did this year. Even though this year was really crowded. I mean, me and her tried to go to the uh, closing ceremony. Hold on, I had something in my eye. I don't know what happened. Okay. It was me and her were trying to go to the... Cl closing ceremony and even that was packed like it was just full of people you were just literally sitting in a group of people like you couldn't even go and sit down in a chair because all the seats were taken you had to just try your best to stand on your tippy toes <laughs> to to see what's going on and there was like bubbles all over the place. I mean, it was a good closing ceremony, but we didn't even finish it because I was so tired. I just wanted to go back to the hotel and rest because, you know, walking that much, you know, walking all over the place and then drinking a bunch of soda from the root beer stand, you know, having to go to the bathroom and stuff. And I'm like, you know, it's over now. It's over now, so I'm like, let's just go back to the hotel and rest up and then go home the next day. So we went home and everything was good. But anyways, that's my story. I don't know why my nose is so itchy. I'm sorry you guys have to see that, but I just can't help it. Anyways, that's my story about BronyCon, the last one. And I would tell you a story about the first one, but it's not really that all exciting because me and mom just, me and my mom just got lost and we just went to panels and didn't get really to talk to anybody. But this year was the best because I got to talk to a lot of people and meet people. And I even gave out some free art. And so if you're going to BabsCon, I'm probably going to be making some more free, some free art to hand out to people. 
So, this is what I look like if you if you uh, go to BazCon and you want some of my art. Then I'll be going in this costume right here. It's a pack of corn costume. I'll be wearing some different things too, but I got this at Walmart. I think it's pretty cute. But anyways, that's my story about BronyCon and <laughs> how crazy it was because it was a nightmare just trying to get to the panels. And if you didn't get to them, like if you didn't wake up super early in the morning and get to these panels, you'd just be capped off like that and you wouldn't be able to go into it. Which is crazy because you spend a lot of saving up money just to go there and then you can't even do half of the events because they're just so packed full of people. But we did get, get to go to a lot of panels. My favorite one was the Applejack panel. It was, it was the, I think that was my favorite panel I went to. And the shipping panel was pretty good too. So, if you guys went to BronyCon, let me know what kind of crazy stories you had that went on there. And I didn't really have any, like, weird people or anything come to me. It was just, it was just the lines and how how the staff was there to everybody i mean you had a lady sitting there at vendor hall screaming at everybody to go to the left it's like you don't have to scream at us lady like you can just you know you can raise your voice but you don't have to scream at people it, it was just crazy and i can see everybody looking at her like with a weird face and i was just kind of laughing because i didn't know what else to do but, um, thank goodness when we went back to the vendor hall that she was gone, so they removed her from there, which I was happy about because she was just being really rude, in my opinion. If you guys went there and you saw, and this lady screamed at you, wouldn't you think it's rude too? Because it was pretty bad. But anyways, that's my experience of, I'm sorry about me itching my nose. It's just really itchy for some reason. I'm sorry you had to see that. It's just like a habit I do when my nose itches. I gotta, you know, itch it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will be making more videos soon. I hope. But this was just kind of a... I know this is a long video. And this is just kind of a, a story time with Flaming Candle. Which is my YouTube name. But anyways, stay tuned to the next video. Because the next video is going to be about about me showing you my old artwork yeah I had when I I was a I've been a fan for my little pony for for five years now almost six years and I drew some pretty I drew some art some my little pony art that's not very good <laughs> I've gotten so much better since then but anyways stay tuned for that video that video will come out soon and I'll see you guys in the next one bye